Hey guys, what we're going to take a look at today is a new feature that's out in uh, 2020 Wave 2, which is license plate reservations. So license plate reservation allows you to reserve at the license plate level. So if you've got a, a license plate on some stock and you want to create a reservation against that, you can do that. So where might you use this? Um, I think well, where I'm thinking about where I would use this is in the past, I've had customers ask me, can I reserve this physical stock for an exact customer, right? So I've got maybe a pallet of merchandise and I want to reserve it for a specific customer. In the past, I haven't been able to really do that because the you know, reservation hierarchy would let you would, wouldn't let you reserve down to that location level. But now what you can do is you can create a um, license plate for the goods reserve at the license plate level and nothing else is going to touch that merchandise because it's got a reservation against it. Okay. So let's take a look at the setup first on how we do this. Um, so the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we want to turn on the features. So this is, is a uh, 10.0.13. So I'm going to go into feature management and let's go to all. And I'm just going to type in flex here in the filter. That'll give us the two options we need to turn on. So these are the two options we need to turn on. This one right here is still in preview, but expect when uh, 13 goes general release uh, in October, uh, this, this will no longer be a preview feature. So these two are, have to be turned on. This one, uh, the, the license plate reservation is dependent on this flexible warehouse level dimension being turned on, okay? All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is once we have those turned on, we're gonna go look at our reservation hierarchy. So we're gonna go underneath warehouse management, uh, set up inventory, and then reservation hierarchy. So you do need a new reservation hierarchy for it. And I've created one here. And so we've got site warehouse, inventory status, location, and license plate. Now when you turn on those new features, you get this, uh, get these extra check boxes here. And so you just basically wanna set it up um, like I have it here where you, you have the license plate checked. When you initially create it, it's gonna have the uh, serial number and batch on there. I just removed those two and location license plate wasn't checked. So I just check that and it'll automatically check the location as well. Okay, so just set your um, license plate up or your uh, reservation hierarchy just like this and you'll be good to go. All right, the next thing we, we can take a look at is our uh, release product that I created for this. So I'm gonna go down to uh, product and information management, and then I'm gonna go to release products. And the release product I created for this was a 5.19.03. And pretty standard setup. Um, I'm gonna show you what my dimensions were. So storage dimensions, warehouse, tracking dimensions, none, item model, FIFO. And then here's where I've used that new uh, reservation hierarchy, that flexible LP, okay? So the next thing I did was I went and created a license plate to store the inventory again. So I'm gonna go underneath warehouse management, set up warehouse, and then license plates. And the license plate that I used was an SGLP06. And if we're gonna take a look at the on hand list for this, I've got my 51903 and I've got 15 on there. And then if I go look at my transactions, um, Notice this is just, I've just have the one entry where I've adjusted 15 in. Okay. Now one alternative uh, step, this isn't really mandatory, but on my work template, I did create a work template for this. Um, so I called it um, order committed LP. And really it's just a pick and a put, but what I did here on the query, if I go up into that, and I go to a sorting tab, I've added a sort here to sort um, by the order committed license plate ID. And the reason for that is on my work breaks, I added a, to group by that field. So I'm basically, I'm gonna break on the, on the license plate there. So this step is not really mandatory, um, but uh, just something I've done here, okay? All right, so let's go and create a sales order. So we're gonna go underneath uh, sales and marketing, all sales orders, and we'll create a new one. And we'll use US. 004. And we do want to create this in warehouse 24. So I'll put site to warehouse 24 and create that sales order. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in our item number 51903. And I'm just going to go, I want 15 of them. 
Now let me go into the reservation here just to show you that there's not a reservation against it yet. So if I go into inventory and then reservation, um, so notice I don't have a reservation against it. All right, so this is where we're gonna create the reservation. One thing you do wanna kind of make note of, especially if you've got multiple lines is, you wanna make note of this lot ID. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that because that's gonna become important here in just a minute. This is how we're going to reference the line on the on the sales order when we create the reservation. Okay, so to create the reservation, we need to use the Excel add-in. So we're going to go into hit the Dynamics 365 Excel or Office button here, and we want to open this one up here. It's Order Committed Reservations per License Plate. So we'll go and click on that one, and we'll download that, and we'll open that up, and we're going to do the enable editing, and then you should get your um, Excel add-in. Um, items over here on the, on the right. All right, so like I said, we're gonna reference this using the lot ID. So I'm gonna click in the lot ID here and put in our lot. And then our license plate that we need was our uh, SGLP06. And I'm gonna put a reservation of 15 against that, okay? So those are really the only required fields for this item here. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and just push the publish button here and publish successful, all right? So at that point, we can go ahead and close this. We don't have to save it. And let's go ahead and look at the reservation now. So if we go take a look at the reservation, we'll see that we have 15 reserved. All right, so let's go take a look at that a little bit further. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the sales order ID here just so I don't lose it here for, for a minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our license plate screen. Gonna go to warehouse management setup warehouse and then license plate and let's take a look at the transactions there for that license plate so we're gonna go sglp06 is our license plate and let's take a look at our transactions now so if you look at our transactions on this item we have an order com committed reservation against it in there so there's our sales order number um, and our reserve physical okay so that just shows that that's been reserved at the license plate level so just remember that, uh, how it's referenced here. We'll come back to that in a minute. So let's go back to our sales order now. So we're gonna go to sales and marketing. All right, so we're back in here. Let's just click on our sales order. This is our sales order, our 2936. We're gonna go ahead and open that one up. And then let's go ahead and release this to the warehouse. We're gonna release the warehouse. And then that's released, okay? So now if we go and take a look at the reservation here again, so let's go back to, I'm just gonna duplicate that tab. And we're gonna go back to the uh, license plates. We're gonna go warehouse management and warehouse and then license plates. Going to SM06 or SGLP06. And let's look at the transactions now. So now that transaction has been actually changed into a work reference there. All right, so we'll wrap that one up here. Um, so as you can see, it's not too bad to set up. The execution of it is a little bit funky with the having to download the Excel spreadsheet, uh, but it's really not that bad to set up. And like I said, it gives you the opportunity to reserve specific stock for customers. And we haven't really been able to do that before, before now anyway. Um, this is a 13 release uh, option there. So right, right now it's still in preview, but um, I'm expecting in October that this will become generally available. Uh, for production environments. Okay, so I hope you found some value in this. If you did, please give the video a like, a thumbs up. Uh, that really helps distribution of the video. And if you want to see more Dynamics content, uh, I put out a video about once a week. Um, feel free to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I put out a new video. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Until next time, see you later. Bye.